Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Samsung DeX that is built in to the actual Samsung Tab S4. So what Samsung DeX does is it transforms your Tab S4 into a full-blown PC-like desktop experience right on your tablet. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go to the settings. Now there's a couple ways to activate Samsung DeX. The first way to do this is uh, to go to the settings and go to advanced features and simply uh, turn on Samsung DeX from here. Uh, but before you turn it on, I recommend that you go in and take a look at the settings. Now that's one way to enable Samsung DeX. Just tap that button, it's going to activate. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, the other way is if you pull down the uh, quick toggle options over here, it's going to be in here somewhere. So you can simply click on this and it's going to activate Samsung DeX right away. Uh, which means which means it's going to transform your tablet into a PC like experience. So let's go back into the settings. I'm going to show you something really quick. Uh, if you go into the actual settings for Samsung DeX, there's a couple options here. You have some auto start options. So you can auto start Samsung DeX uh, when you connect the cover keyboard accessory that you have to buy separately. So basically if you take this tablet and if you and put it on the book cover keyboard it's going to automatically launch DeX, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And of course, the other option is uh, if you connect this tablet uh, via an HDMI cable to a high definition TV, it is also going to launch uh, the uh, DeX mode automatically. Okay. And of course, for that to happen, you do have to have these two enabled and that's going to work automatically. So let's take a look over here. It says if you turn this on, enjoy a full desktop interface on your tablet. So let's go back and actually enable that. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like and all the features present. So it's turning on right now. Uh, it's saying Samsung DeX and within seconds we're going to have the full desktop experience. Now remember you can use a keyboard and a mouse, a Bluetooth keyboard, a Bluetooth mouse or a USB uh, keyboard and a USB mouse using a dongle uh, right on this thing. So in this scenario, I'm going to just be using my fingers and the S Pen. You can also use the S Pen, uh, but I just want you guys to be aware that you can use a keyboard and you can use a mouse. It can either be a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard or it can even be uh, one that is attached via a dongle into the USB type C port at the bottom over here. But anyway, let's take a look at this interface. So over here, we have the usual buttons. Uh, we have the app drawer button. Okay. And again, I can use the S Pen. But I'll just use my finger for convenience. Uh, I have the home button over here. Uh, over here I have the recent apps button. Okay. And over here I have the back button. So back button, home button, recent apps button. Uh, another thing that I have here is I have a, a dock of active applications. And this is my desktop. Uh, I can drag and uh, drop apps from here directly onto that uh, uh, desktop. So let's take the calculator for example. It says add shortcut to home and now the calculator is going to be right there. And this is going to be independent of the separate Android interface that you have. This is a separate desktop environment that you can customize completely uh, without having to modify or tweak the Android version of this whole thing. And of course here's some cool stuff over here. I can tap this over here and that's going to bring up the, uh, the calendar. So I have the, by the way, these windows you can move around just like on a desktop. Uh, you can minimize it. If you minimize it, it goes over here to the calendar. I can tap it again. I can tap this. I can easily multitask between two different windows. Okay, so that's the beauty of Samsung DeX that you cannot get on Android. Uh, let's just X this out for a minute. But again, at the bottom, uh, let's X that out. At the bottom, you've got the date, the time. Uh, here you have the search button. You can search apps, uh, search the entire tablet, to be honest. Uh, over here you have a screenshot button so if I tap this it takes a screenshot really quickly and over here I have the volume button that allows me to change the volume of the system the media and the notific notifications as well as a couple of uh, a couple other options over here uh, I have the on-screen keyboard again like I said you can be using this Samsung DeX projected onto a large high-definition monitor as well as a keyboard and a mouse so you're getting this entire experience on a full blown monitor with a keyboard and mouse. I'm just trying to show you guys all the features you will see uh, when you actually do that. This is exactly what you are going to see. Uh, the other thing that's cool over here is these things over here. So these are the quick toggles. 
Uh, normally with Android, you have to pull down to access quick toggles. Uh, with Samsung DeX, you tap on this icon and you've got all your quick toggles right here. Uh, even Samsung DeX is here, so I can tap this. Uh, let me show you actually, let me tap this. It's gonna turn off the Samsung DeX. It's gonna go right back into the Android interface. And as you can see, the Android interface is untouched uh, based on what I did on the Samsung DeX side. So again, if I go back over here, I can tap on Samsung uh, DeX and that's gonna turn that automatically from the notifications. So we're back in business over here. Again, here's the quick toggle options. Uh, if you tap on the battery, it brings up the uh, battery icon. Again, all these things can be moved around uh, like a real desktop interface, okay? Uh, I can minimize this, it goes right over here. These are the active apps. Uh, I can tap this, this is the Wi-Fi. Uh, these are the notifications. So if you're wondering where the notifications are, they're not here, you cannot pull them down. They're at the bottom here, if you tap this, it shows you all your notifications and of course you can modify these settings and you can clear the whole thing so let's run a couple applications over here I have the calculator let's do the settings let's do the gallery uh, let's do the uh, my files so I have a bunch of windows running side by side on this desktop experience uh, interface and if you do go to the settings let's just maximize this for a minute uh, you have the Samsung DeX settings that you can modify from here. And when you are in the DeX mode, uh, the Samsung DeX settings appear at the top, uh, which is convenient. So if I tap this, you will see all the same options we saw earlier. Uh, you have keyboard options, mouse and track, trackpad options. Uh, you've got the Samsung DeX Labs. And of course, you've, the, you've got the auto start when you uh, connect the uh, tab to the book cover keyboard case or if you connect it via an HDMI cable to a high definition TV. And as you can see right now, it is in fact on. So let's X this out and let's try some other application, a multimedia application perhaps. Let's tap on this one. Uh, let's go to YouTube and let's uh, see how this looks. So I can search for anything here. Let's go to Saki Tech. Let's go right inside and let's tap and play a video. So let's pick any video over here. Uh, we'll play this video. Uh, let's lo lower the volume okay so let's lower the volume here for a minute let's skip the advertisement and then here we have the YouTube application and if I maximize this uh, it does not go full screen right away it goes full screen with, within the window but if I tap this again it goes real full screen and if I tap on it again I can tap on this icon here which is going to exit the regular mode I can minimize that to a regular little size. Okay, so if I tap this one, it goes full screen in the window. Meanwhile, I can grab this calculator, I can do something over here, plus 25 or whatever, and I can keep watching this video. Okay, so I can X this out. But if I do wanna go really full screen, I tap on this maximize icon and boom, you've got the full screen experience uh, over here as well. So most of these apps are fully optimized to work with Samsung DeX, which is fantastic. It looks like a Windows or a Mac computer. And even with all these windows running around, jumping around, there's absolutely no lag whatsoever. Uh, remember, this is a quite a powerful device. It's got a Snapdragon 845 processor. It's got four gigabytes of RAM. So it should, not, it should be no problem running these things. And of course, like I said, I really like these things over here. Uh, let's just move this here start that minimize 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 oops minimize minimize and remember anytime you need a keyboard you can tap this icon and that brings out the on-screen keyboard which can also be by the way moved around anywhere on the screen but this is what I was going to talk about the dock at the bottom is fantastic so you can access anything from here if you tap it again it minimizes so tap to maximize tap again to minimize You've got all the necessary buttons here. And of course, you can go to the app drawer. And from here, uh, you can add apps to your actual windows. Not all apps are going to work with Samsung DeX, but most of the useful ones are in fact optimized to work with Samsung DeX. So this is the Samsung DeX. And remember one more time, uh, the Samsung DeX can be used just like this with your fingers or the S Pen or you can attach a keyboard and a mouse and you can start controlling this entire thing as if you were controlling a desktop. And of course you can connect this tab, this tablet,
to a high definition monitor using an HDMI cable. And then what's going to happen is it's going to project this entire screen onto that monitor. So you have a full blown desktop on a big screen monitor. Absolutely fantastic. It's just one of the many features that are built into this device. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and I'll try to answer them or maybe somebody else can get them for you. Uh, but make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.